my life kind of turned upside down when I was diagnosed with uh, endometrial cancer after what was supposed to be a routine uh, DNC procedure. Um, since then, it was uh, it was a whirlwind of events for me, and uh, we went from my husband and I. We went from one doctor, one hospital to the other, looking for. We were researching for the best possible options. We had a whole lot of friends who were helping us, giving us all kinds of references. We did get a lot of good advice. I uh, nowhere in this process did I feel like um, I was a. I was a person. I, I just felt like another statistic, and there was with all the tests and everything was so clinical, and uh, there was there was something uh, missing that would really that could comfort me. And at one point, we were even uh, when the prognosis changed from a regular a robotic surgery to a full-fledged open surgery with a lot more stay at the hospital and more complications and the doctor all the doctors also started having second thoughts about how uh, this tumor was uh, we were even considering moving to kerala to trivandrum to go to the rcc and that would involve uprooting myself and uh, from my family from my friends and support system so uh, that was another added tension so we went through a lot of stress trying to figure out what was the right thing to do right way to do what was the best possible option for my health uh, for the future, but uh, then we got an appointment with Dr. Somshegh Reddy. He had already been recommended by our uh, close friends in the doctor circle. At the very first meeting, uh, doctor gave us so much of confidence, and he was so reassuring. And uh, he, there was so much of uh, attention to detail in his uh, in his words, in the way he explained everything to us, and. Uh, um, he, he listed out all, all the facts in my case and he was able to show me how all of it according to his reading it fell into the positive side and without trying to trivialize it in any way he was very clear about his uh, about the way he was explaining to us and he was so reassuring and caring we immediately felt uh, very so much more confident from what we had gone through till then nowadays the thing about cancer treatment is the general perception is the treatment of cancer in itself is more dangerous than the disease. That's why common public is afraid. They think that, you know, if I go cancer surgeries needs very big surgeries, you have to cut open for one week. I lie down. I may have to go to ICU. I'll have a lot of pain. I may take time to eat food and walk. Then I may have to take rest. My family have to be there. But not many people know that now this is revolutionized now we use an era of minimum effective treatment not maximum tolerable treatment minimal invasive using robotic cancer surgery yet achieving highest cure rate quality of life cosmesis they went to very good other cancer center across and everybody told it needs a very major surgery minimal access may not be possible other top center who have robot told that this is technically very demanding because she has lymph nodes in the high part of the abdomen look called parioteic. This surgery may end up with open surgery resulting in weeks to stay in hospital, delayed recovery, pain. But when they came, they came with a lot of hopes to Aster International Institute of Oncology here in CMI Aster. I could evaluate with my team. After all the workup, we could see that since I have done over 3000 complex robotic surgery over last 12 years with maximum experience, I realized that this could easily be managed with a state of art fourth generation robot, which we have at Aster International Institute of Hong Kong. Had a very good discussion, good workup, and rightfully as I could commit to the patient, we did use a green light ICG laser to identify what is called a sentinel lymph node. It's a new technology state of art in cancers now been built in the fourth generation robot we have the surgery took about one and a half hours for me to do cancer part then use this green light laser and could pick up lymph node what would require cutting the whole tummy with robot i could go up in between the kidneys parioti clear all the nodes all this over in just about two hours no tubes no stitches same day to take a shower have a normal food walk around in under 26 hours, go back home and next day you're normal. No, I call this, you know, foreign bodies, no foreign bodies, no bandage, no stitches, no tubes. And I always say that 
the cancer surgery should be such that you should sleep on your bed in your home every night not in hospital send them home early she benefited it she has cured fantastic quality of life and best cure rate thanks to these recent advances we have and the expertise which is available when it was thought she may not benefit with our experience analysis and the technology available at Astra Institute of Oncology we could actually offer this so at Astra CMI everything was spread out um, uh, everything was very compassionate the financial aspect I to my surprise even though the hospital was bigger and everything I found uh, that, the, that the estimates that the hospital gave was actually much lesser than the other hospitals I received so that was a bit uh, you know I, I was um, taken aback by that and you know everything seemed so systematic uh, Rashmi at the oncology ward, uh, the PR who helped us with all the uh, coordination, the the nursing staff, the um, uh, the Dr. Ashwin, Dr. Aaron, um, uh, uh, those are all you know uh, doctors in Somshaker, uh, uh, Dr. Somshaker's team. We were so happy that we uh, found this place and uh, ended up with the hospitalization here. So we couldn't have been happier with the results. We never experienced any undue delay or anything that would make us more uncomfortable. So when the time of admission came, again, everything was very smoothly done and uh, every, everyone seems to be working to give you the best experience possible in terms of uh, even the nursing staff. I don't think I've come across um, in any of the hospitals so far. Uh, the amount of care and compassion uh, they took, they were so gentle even for any of the procedures they tell you in advance this is what I'm going to do and uh, you know very very careful and a lot of compassion in the way they were doing every single procedure whether it was the cleaning whether it was um, the uh, for the uh, injections the drips uh, and they were very responsive we were never left looking for staff I mean between ships or whatever uh, instant responses and very uh, prompt responses and compassionate that really matter from the cleaning staff to everyone involved in this um, it was it was a wonderful experience uh, staying at the hospital uh, at no point was any stress unnecessary stress added they were very uh, responsive to any of our needs and uh, the doctors of course were excellent and uh, everything has been exactly as they predicted. Of course, whatever Do Dr. Somshikar already predicted right after the surgery, everything was the same. And it's been such a such an effortless uh, transition. I can't even believe that I've actually had a major surgery um, because uh, it has all been very smooth touch wood. I do not did not face the extreme pain or the extreme. Uh, uh, I mean, God bless his hands, I guess it's about uh, the expert is involved, but it's been a very smooth transition. I really don't feel like I've been through a major surgery. It's been a week and I feel great and thanks to everyone at Astor, most of all Dr. Sumshekar. Over 3,000 such patients have benefited and have operated over 12 years. Now more and more across India and abroad are coming, especially asking us at Astor Institute of Oncology to do this complex yet minimal invasive surgery with robotics and give a complete good cancer care and experience and cure them. Thank you very much. <music>